Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy Blake Salami. I make mommy and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Today, we're going to Wakanda. Uh, yeah, we're getting dressed and I'm going to do makeup. We're going to wear all black and I may wear a head tie. We'll see how that looks. So yeah, come get ready with me. Okay guys, so um, let me go ahead and start to get ready because my husband, he gets dressed so fast and then he starts to say that I'm holding him, I'm holding him down or something. So let me hurry up and get ready. Putting a little bit of moisturizer on my face. I love this stuff. This is Clinique uh, Moisture Surge. And it is amazing for people who have dry skin during the winter. I usually have normal to oily skin. But during the winter time, of course, being in the northeast of the U.S., my skin gets just ridiculously dry. And it starts to peel and look funny and everything else. And that Clinique Moisture Surge is bay. The problem I have with it is that it's so freaking expensive that I'm only using the uh, sample version right now. And it's tiny. And it's almost finished. And I'm thinking that I may need to actually buy it because it's worth it. But I keep saying, but winter is over. Maybe I can just somehow get through the next oop, couple of months with something else we'll see but anyway let's talk about Wakanda how about I am loving everybody who has posted videos on social media of their outfits for this uh, video or premiere of the movie and full disclosure I don't really follow comics like that's not my thing I don't um, like superhero movies but I did watch uh, Luke Cage when it first got to um, was it Netflix and I forgot the actor's name but he did such a good job that it just I don't know it was just so good and the reason why I watched it primarily is because it was filmed in Harlem and during the time that it actually premiered, we lived in Harlem still. So I don't know what I'm trying to do with my eyebrows, but I can't find the pencil that I need. So yeah, I'm not into comics, but I love Luke Cage and I'm loving this whole concept of Wakanda. I had to have one of my good friends kind of bully me into ordering this uh ordering the tickets for us to go to the movie set because i really wasn't gonna go like i'm like oh i'll wait till it comes out and she was like tracy your daughter is gonna ask you years from now where were you when this movie came out and what are you gonna say to your child and so i'm like yeah you're right but i don't watch anything regarding comics like, it's just not my thing. And she said, you don't have to. It's really about uh, the fact that, you know, Wakanda is this fictional country that is an idea of what uh, Africa or West Africa would look like if colonization didn't happen. If white folks never uh, <laughs> colonized, came and basically squatted on African land, and um, got involved with slave trade, interfered with, you know, all of its natural resources, what the country would be like. And of course, we all know that um, Africa is not a place of just complete um, impoverishment that people would like to think. But 
um, this concept of Wakanda is a place that um, doesn't really have space for anything like that because it's what the country would have been had it not been invaded or colonized by others who had no intentions of really um, acknowledging and accepting the country for what it was. So um, with that being said, I was intrigued and I read more. I went to, I think it was, um, I think it was a Variety article or one of the New York Magazine articles. I can't think of which it was, but it kind of persuaded me that yeah, she has a point and maybe I shouldn't just skip out on seeing the movie. And so here I am getting dressed for a daytime date with my husband to see the film. I am excited about all the female characters in this movie. I've seen um, how they have uh, captured a lot of beautiful clothing, um, the makeup, the whole setup of the movie, the setting itself in this country is absolutely stunning. I love the fact that there are a lot of female fighters. Um, of course, I saw the action trailer where it shows the woman using her wig as a weapon. Like, hello, like don't mess with black women in our hair. So it just made me wanna look into it even more. And then when you look at the breakdown of the number of um, African actors and actresses being involved in such a film and how its sales are just amazing, especially for Marvel Comics. I mean, I'm just singing all the praises that everyone has already heard that I'm just new to. And yeah, so that's what's up. And I can't wait. Now, to the question that uh, everyone has wanted to know, where have I been? I've been doing me. Um, like I said in my other video, I really do want to try to be consistent on this channel, but I'm a mom, I'm a working professional, and I, the struggle is real. I know people here on YouTube who post videos religiously. Like, consistency is key for anything that you want to do, but you also have to be realistic. I'm not there yet. That's clear. But my interest is here. I always think about the channel on Tuesdays because that's the original date that I wanted to use to post everything. It's just not happening for me that way. And I'm going to make it more of an effort because honestly, I don't want this to just be a hobby. I want to make it um, actually something real and it's just going to take me more time than I imagined. In addition to this channel, I have other professional goals that I'm working on right now as well. So professional goals, mom goals, um, wife goals, life goals. Speaking of wife goals, have you all read that book, An American Marriage? It is one of, I think it is the first Oprah book collection or book club books for the year 2018. And as soon as I saw her post floating around Instagram, I think one of my friends tagged me in it. And I tagged all of our other friends like, let's get on it, let's read this book. I went to Barnes & Noble. Not a shout out to them necessarily, but I'm just saying that's who I ordered the book from. And in Manhattan, you can get same day delivery. So that was cool. Got the book and started reading. Read it in two days with the baby, with mom life. Um, <laughs> wife life and all of the other issues that I just explained that could not um, get me to post consistently on this channel hypocritical right and um, I finished that book that book is everything it talks a lot about um, the issues that black women and men face in the US um, as a result of the industrial prison complex and system that we have going on how black men even though they are professional um, no matter who you are where you're from if you're a black man in America it's likely that at some point in your life you've been incarcerated um, either for major or minor crimes and it's just one of those things that 
um, seems to be something we cannot, you know, get past in this country. And it has a lot to do with the laws, it has a lot to do with policing, but this book talks about how it affects American marriages. And it's something to read. Because, I mean, we've all heard, like, back in the day, um, women having problems maintaining their household because men are either dead, gay, or in jail. And this book addresses that. If you haven't read it, check out American Marriage. Mm, I won't do a review because the last review I did on Charlemagne's book, I didn't get a lot of views. It didn't discourage me from doing book reviews, but then again, it did because I'm not sure that people have the time or the interest but if you do and you want me to do a more thorough review of the book leave a comment in the comment section and I will record a review of the book it's a good uh, read fast read Oprah's book club she usually picks some really good books this book I don't think it's like one of the best books that she's had on her book club list but it's definitely a conversation piece it's very real um in some ways it's political you know the conversations around um you know black men and incarceration uh it's a conversation piece so check out that book and let me know what you think in other news um uh, i've been enjoying a lot of podcasts lately um what podcast there's one called uh, Black Love Matters, which is a podcast created by Niram and Nyambi. I believe these are fictional names that they use so that, you know, their true identity isn't exposed. And I think they did a really good job with the concept of their podcast. I really enjoy it. My husband, not so much. And I think for him, listening to their conversation about um, black marriages is just not interesting to him. But for me it is because quite frankly a lot of my friends are not yet married um, for various reasons. Um, and this is a place for me to have some sort of feedback or even uh, one-sided conversations about you know what's happening in the state of black marriages right now and issues within marriages because they do have people who write in who talk about some of their marital problems so i do like the podcast for that reason that i can just tune in find out you know what's going on in the world of black marriages from reality tv and other pop culture um relationship topics um, relationship goals from people who are actually married and not people who are out here on social media um, playing wifey um, because being in a marriage and especially being new to marriage and actually you know being in some sort of other sort of relationship I think the the interest the topics the conversation the end game is completely different when there's no real commitment like that which is found in marriage so yeah, I'm feeling that podcast. Also, what other podcast? There's one called Fab Wives. I actually found them on, what was it? Instagram first. And at first I'm like, oh, just another wife Instagram account. Never realized that they had an actual um, podcast with a conversation. I think there's like four or five women. They're, they are based in Charlotte and they have some really good conversation. Every week it's a different topic. It's only 30 minutes and I find the conversation to be really, really um, interesting. And they are more engaging than Black Love Matters, but I still love Black Love Matters because I love the chemistry between Naomi and Niram. So yeah. And what other podcasts? Uh, I would say T.D. Jakes, which I've always listened to T.D. Jakes podcast, but it's like an opportunity for me to catch up with him because on the Sundays I don't go to church. I usually go to internet church with uh, uh, T.D. Jakes at the Potter's house and 
the podcast is just like a continuation. It's a snippet of the usual um, sermon for that week. So, yeah. So, that's another podcast. I started back listening to The Read with Kid Fury and Crystal. And they are hilarious. They're the podcast that I put on in the car when I have a long drive. And I need to stay entertained because I'm either by myself or something like that. And I just need to laugh. Or I just need to catch up with them because I'm behind. Um, One of the podcasts I tried a couple weeks ago was Two Dope Queens. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Um, I like them. They have an HBO special that's airing right now. I actually have HBO for once in my life because it's free for a year with uh, Verizon Files. It's who we have as a, a cable provider. And yeah, I don't like this mascara. Look how goopy it is. Like, look. It's like, it's beyond. And this is Lancome, which one is this called? Hypnos Drama. It's too much. But anyway, yeah, two dope queens. I like them. They're funny, but I don't know. They, I don't know. You guys listen to it. Tell me what you think. So as you can see, I'm going super duper fast. We're trying to finish because I heard the lines for this movie are ridiculously long. Uh, what else is going on in the world of Blake Salami? Um, it was getting big. If you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on Facebook or Snapchat, you've probably seen some snaps lately, but they're not with Iwa because we're on a mission right now. Lakeland says that I post so many photos that people are never going to be surprised or be able to compare her growth, which I don't agree with, but he challenged me to not post um, photos of her until her first birthday so I stopped posting photos when she got to six months and I guess it'll be surprise a surprise for everyone to see what she looks like when she reaches one year she's definitely gotten better bigger her uh, temperament has definitely changed it's been a challenge since I've been going back to work trying to get back into um, the groove of everything we had a transition in her caretakers uh, for child care and she was not having it a few weeks ago she went on a hunger strike and refused to eat and it scared me half to death because she always has a little pot belly and the, the belly was gone and she was just in this little phase where if she's not seeing the person who was taking care of her before, you know, it's it's a problem. So, anyway, you can see my makeup. It's very natural looking other than how black my eyebrows look. But I'm going to go put on my wig and put on some clothes and try to close out this beauty session. But I will wear these mix match earrings. They don't really go. So I'm not going to be matchy matchy, but I want to wear some earrings because I have to. And I don't have time to go and find earrings. 
So yeah, this is my Wakanda look. How do you like it? It will be just fine for me. Oh my gosh, everybody has to go see Black Panther. It's a really great movie. The costumes, the whole Wakanda country itself and the way it looked. Uh, the storyline, so much. It's so much to unpack and address in that movie. And it was uh, definitely an experience. I would like to see it again. And there's quotes for days in that movie for Africans in the diaspora, African Americans. There's a lot going on in this movie. And what I really liked was this idea that there is potential for African countries to be something far greater than what they are and how we as a people could do uh, so much better to move ourselves forward even though we're in a state that we're in right now in the US um, I don't want to spoil the film but I would encourage everyone to definitely go out um, see it and maybe I'll do a review later but I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it anyway it was a good date night great movie to go see with your partner i went with my own black panther and uh yeah until next time take care bye